out of this one. Good morning. I haven't even had a chance to say good morning properly today and to even start the vlog properly. The only reason why I wanted to vlog today is because we had a maternity photo shoot. You would have seen from all of the clips this morning. I'm actually 38 weeks pregnant today, as of today. We are still in lockdown. I really wanted to do this about two months ago, I think. Not this late at all. But for some reason, I was going to do a photo shoot at home, but for some reason I was just feeling super tired. I didn't want to do it myself. So I found um, a photographer online and then I was kind of chatting with her and, you know, figured out when we can do because of the lockdown and everything. We had to wait until today. It's perfectly all right to do photo shoots now because it's outdoor, we're socially distancing and everything. And it is for work and all that. So that's fine to do that. It was interesting to say the least the weather was really good as you would have seen it's really sunny but it was windy and it was so cold i chose not to wear tights because i didn't want to i wanted the pictures to look nice obviously we went early in the morning we started at eight in the morning it was only about half an hour slightly more than half an hour that's it she was good she was really good with the instructions and everything i am hopeless in front of the camera I cannot pose properly, I cannot smile properly, I don't even know my angles properly in front of the camera. So I did tell her that I was quite bad and she said, oh, don't worry, uh, I, I will show you how to do it and you know what to do and everything. Um, she was very clear with the instructions and she was quite good and she was very professional as well. Apparently she's been doing photo shoots for about um, 10 years now. She normally does wedding photo shoots. But her website was very impressive and her price was quite good also, you know, for her experience and the kind of pictures and everything that she takes. She understands light really well. In between while we were changing from location to location, I had to wear my coat on and warm up a little bit and I was freezing. That was my only concern though. I think some of the pictures, because I was freezing so much, it looked as if I had fake smile because I was trying to hold my smile but I was still cold and it looked as if we were a bit stiff here and there but I don't know, I really hope it turns out nice though. I'm looking forward to it. Recently people have been telling me that I've got the pregnancy glue and I never really understood what they actually said but then I figured out most of the people who see me are the ones who've seen my pictures on Instagram or my videos on YouTube or on Zoom whenever we meet family and friends online. And they're like, oh, you know what? You have got the pregnancy glow. You look so good. It's, <laughs> it's just a makeup. I've got a full face of makeup. If you were to see me without this face, I don't think you'll ever say the same thing at all. <laughs> anyway, we are back home now and I wanted to show you what I wore. Um, I've got this dress from... ASOS. It's this brand called Bloom, I think. I don't really know. I've never bought anything from them, but it looks quite nice. It's got that high-low front and back and three-quarter sleeve. I really wanted to wear a long dress, then I figured because it's an outdoor shoot, it's going to be inconvenient um, to wear the long dress because it's super long and I didn't really want to wear heels at all. So I'm going to change my mind at the last minute and then got this instead, which was really comfortable. Um, except for the fact that it was cold and I didn't wear tights, but it was fine. Uh, I think I'm really, really happy with this choice, you know, as opposed to wearing that long dress. But then I decided I want to wear that long dress and take a photo shoot at home. So I'm going to stop and have breakfast and then do another photo shoot at home. Lakshman's kindly agreed to do it for me. So we'll see how that turns out. Also, this chain that I'm wearing, this is a Dior chain that I've had for donkey's years now. I was in high school when my mother first got that for me and I wore it to death. I wore it every single day for years and years and then all of a sudden I either stopped wearing chains or I changed it to something else and then I never wore it at all. All of a sudden this morning I just remembered. So I wore that and this earring that I've got on is from Lovisa. It's that Swarovski brand, um, Swarovski, Swarovski. Sorosky. I think that's how you pronounce it. I never know how to pronounce it at all. Got my wedding ring on and I've got my Armani watch on and I've got my Pandora bracelets on. Got so many charms there now. So I thought, okay, let's just wear it for a change. Yeah, that's about it. I like this dress. Very casual. I think I can also wear it even after the baby is born. Photo shoot number two is done. And this is my look. This is the dress that I originally wanted to wear when I did the outdoor photo shoot, but 
say it's super long. Even if I wore heels, it's going to be extremely long for me and it's not going to fit at all. Uh, yeah, it's a good thing I didn't wear it out. This dress is from ASOS also, I don't remember the brand, but it's really, really nice. This necklace is from my mom. I kind of saw it in her cupboard. I liked it and I took it from her. And then my earring is from ASOS and I'm wearing my DKNY watch. I haven't worn this in ages and I've also got a Cartier imitation um, bracelet. I've had three of this. I think I've done a video on one of these imitation dupes that I got from Amazon. I've got the one in silver, gold and rose gold and this is the gold one. I am exhausted. I'm tired and I'm calling it a day. But I'm really happy with some of the pictures. As in the one that we did in um, in the morning, first thing in the morning was so much more easier because there was a photographer telling us what to do, what not to do, where to look and everything. The one at home was a bit tiring because we had to move furniture here and there, set the timer. Lakshman took most of the pictures, but the one with both of us together, we had to set the timer and take pictures and all that. But yeah, I'm glad it's over. At least we have something for memory's sake. I didn't want to do any of this at all, but my mom insisted that we did photo shoots. And then eventually I signed up for it and had it done. Okay, I'm running out of breath and I'm just going to call it a day. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and I will see you again in the next video. Bye!